Hello there, fellow friends. Welcome to our exciting world of numbers and math adventures. Today, we have a super fun and educational topic to explore. Are you ready to become math superheroes and discover the magic behind these numbers? Let's jump right in. Our topic for today is on even and odd numbers. Let's start our journey with even numbers. What do you think makes a number even? It's when a number can be shared into two equal groups. There is a special trick to learn even numbers. The last number always ends with the number 0, 2, 4, 6 or number 8. If it ends with any of these numbers, then it is an even number. Let's do some examples together. We will start with a single digit number or one number. Here, we have a number 4. We learned that even numbers are numbers that can be shared into two equal groups. To show you this, we have number 4 illustrated with our four fish swimming in the small bowl. Let's get started. We will be using the two large fish bowls to put the fish in so that we can share them easily. We put the first fish in bowl 1 and the second fish in bowl 2. We then put the third fish in bowl 1 and the fourth fish in bowl 2. Bowl 1 now has two fish and bowl 2 also has two fish. The four fish have been shared equally, and there is no more fish left in the small bowl. This means that 4 is an even number as it was shared equally. If we go back to our trick, even numbers always end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Does number 4 appear? Yes, 4 appears in our trick, making it an even number. Well done boys and girls. Let's try it now with a two-digit or double-digit number. The number we have is 34. From the trick we have learnt, we always look at the last number, which is the number 4. With using our special trick, even numbers always end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Since number 4 is again here, that means it's an even number. You are doing great. Let's now try doing a three-digit number. I know you may be thinking, oh no. Not a three-digit number. That is too hard. Don't fear, little boys and girls. It is very simple as long as you remember the special trick I have shown you. Our three-digit number is 468. Using our trick, we have learned that with even numbers, the last number always ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Since our number ends with an 8, this number 468 is an even number. We have come to the end of even numbers. Next we will be doing odd numbers. After that, we will be playing a magical game with the maths wizard, which is coming up after the next short lesson. Let's get back to learning odd numbers. Odd numbers are numbers that cannot be shared into two equal groups, as you will always have some left over or remaining. Just like even numbers, the odd numbers also have a trick. The special trick with odd numbers is that the number at the end always ends with the number 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. To show you this, we have number 5 illustrated with our 5 fish swimming in the small bowl. We will be using the 2 fish bowls to put the fish in so that we can share them easily. We put the first fish in bowl 1 and the second fish in bowl 2. We then put the third fish in bowl 1 and the fourth fish in bowl 2. Hold on, there is only one fish left and we can't share him. Therefore, 5 is an odd number as we have one remainder. If we look at our special trick that we learnt, the special trick with odd numbers is that the number at the end always ends with the number 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Since 5 appears in our special trick, the number 5 is an odd number. Well done boys and girls. Let's try it now with a two-digit or double-digit number. The number we have is 53. From the trick we have learnt, we always look at the last number, which is the number 3. With using our special trick, odd numbers always end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Since number 3 is here, that means it's an odd number. You are doing great. Let's now try doing a 3-digit number. Our 3-digit number is 687. Using our trick, the special trick with odd numbers is that the number at the end always ends with the number 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Since our number ends with a 7, this number 687 is an odd number. Now we will join the maths magician for a mystical maths challenge. Are you ready boys and girls? Hello boys and girls. 
I am the maths magician. Welcome to my mystical maths challenge. Using magic, let's open the treasure box to reveal the magic number. You can say the magic words with me. Open sesame. Boys and girls, can you guess if this number 25 is an even or odd number? If you said odd number, you are correct. The trick we had learned was that odd numbers end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Let's put it back and get another magical number. Open sesame. Can you guess if this is an even number or off number? If you said even number, you are correct. The trick we had learned was that even numbers ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. You are getting very good. Let's try another number. Let's use our magic words to open the box. Open sesame. Can you guess if this number is an even number or odd number? If you said odd number, well done. If you got it wrong, don't worry. Just go back to learning the tricks again, and you will get it right again. Let's get one last number for the challenge. Let's use our magic words to open the treasure box. Open sesame. Can you guess if this number is an even number or odd number? This number is an odd number. If you guessed it correctly, well done. Today, we've mastered the secret of even and odd numbers. You can spot even numbers by their cool ending digits, 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And odd numbers end with the fantastic digits, 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Keep exploring the world of numbers, and remember, math is all around us, making everything super exciting. Until next time, stay curious and keep counting. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fantastic math adventures. Please leave a comment if you liked my video or if you would like me to cover a specific topic. See you soon. Goodbye.